Hey sexies. So I just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna really start, but like, I want to talk about like boyfriends, relationships, and like first kisses and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start out with like boyfriends and such. Um, if you're like, I don't know, like it's really your choice whenever you want to have like a boyfriend or something. Like I can't control what you do. Like if you want to have a boyfriend in second grade go for it. I can't really do anything about it. Um, it's your personal choice. Like, um, I don't want to be the one to tell you not to. I don't want to be the one to, um, tell you, oh, don't have a boyfriend in second. No, I'm not going to be the one to tell you that. Like, it's your choice. It's a free country. You can do whatever you want. Um, but, like, you, I just want someone to understand that if you have a boyfriend in elementary school, and he really does matter to you, and you go out with him for a lot of years, like, into middle school, then, yeah, maybe it's a good relationship, but I just don't really, like, I had a boyfriend for three years, um, going into middle school, and then I broke up with him, because I found out he cheated on me four times, and he never told me, so that really sucked, but, um, yeah, that was a really good relationship, and I really liked him, and people deny that, but they're not in my life, and other people will say that too, that, oh, you're not in my life, so you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me that that wasn't a real relationship, because it was. Like, I just hate it when people do that. Like, it just, it's just one of my pet peeves. Like, if I, in another one is, if you tell me, like, if I say, I don't know, an example, if I, like, okay, so let's just do food, I don't know. If they, like, put a random food on, like, a table at a restaurant, and I'm like, oh, I already tried that, and then someone else at the table goes, no, you didn't. Oh, my God. Do you, like, stalk me every minute of the day so you know if I did or didn't? I know I did. I'm the person who tried it. You aren't. So I should know. You shouldn't. Are you an idiot? Like, honestly, it just bothers me. But, um, first kisses. So... Some people I know, well, not necessarily that I know, but some people I know have had their first kiss in elementary school, in, like, sixth grade. No. Like, even if, if it was a su surprise, it's always going to be your first kiss. You can't change that. Like, I want my first kiss to be special. I want it to be when I'm at a decent age where I'll, well, where I'll understand it. Like, I don't want it to be, like, in sixth grade. Like, honestly, some people have their first kisses in sixth grade. Even if, oh, you really like them. No. Like, you're going to look back on that and be like, why? <laughs> why did I have my first kiss at such a young age? I wish I had it, like, when I understood it, when I really loved that person, when we had a long, nice relationship, when we broke up, like, we both knew we wanted to break up, and we both knew it wasn't going to work out, and then we just moved on. Like... I want a first kiss in a relationship like that where, um, my relationship is like that, and then my first kiss, like, you know, my first kiss is not going to be until, like, high school, because I don't want it to be, like, lots of people have lured, have tried to lure me into, like, kissing them, like, I can count maybe, like, five people, but no, I just, I wouldn't do it, like, I've broken up with many people because they, all they wanted was to kiss me, like, it just annoys me that people would honestly, ow, people would honestly do that. Um, it's my choice if I want to kiss someone or not. Like, I remember my most recent boyfriend. Um, I don't know if they were calling me or if they weren't, but if they are, then that sucks. Um, and I'll try to use splice for this. Um, but, ooh, okay, I have ADD. Or a I don't even know. Um, I know I have OCD though. Okay, let me move on. But do you know what I'm talking about about the first kisses? Like, even if you like really like the person when you're young, don't. Like, oh yeah, um, the person I went out with, I had to break up with him because he seriously all he wanted was to kiss me, and I was like, if that's all you want then this isn't gonna work out and then he threatened me and stuff like that but I'm not gonna get into that it wasn't like bad bad um he was just like oh 
F you, I'm gonna tell the teacher. I'm like, yeah, okay, because he was in sixth grade. I'm like, yeah, okay, he never did. Um, but I told, I told the principal, and she was like, I'll do something about it, and she gave my attention, so it's all good. Don't go on with it. Don't talk to me about it. It's all right. Um, <laughs> um, but, yes, yeah, so, but everyone, I understand that everyone goes through bullying, and everyone goes through that stuff, and I want to say to you guys that you guys are not alone. Lots of people go through with it, and we, I think we all should just, like, collaborate together and, like, find a way to settle this in a good way, not, like, a fighting way, just, like, a good way to just, like, settle bullying and, like, just end bullying altogether. I just want to do that, but anyways, I'm playing with my eyelash curler, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, on to the boyfriend thing again, um, why, like, honestly, oh yeah, and, like, talk behind people's backs and stuff, um, why would you talk behind a person's back if they honestly never did anything to you? Like, I remember one of my friends, um, I'm not gonna mention any names, but she, like, she talked behind my back when I didn't do anything wrong. Like, I was totally clueless about the fact that she was at this place at this time, and then I was at that place at that time. Um, and then she made a YouTube video about it. There is honestly no reason you should bring your personal problems on YouTube. Like, I am, like, really good friends with her now, but, like, honestly, why would you do that? Like, it is just blowing my mind that you would just do something like that. It just bothers me, like, oh my gosh, and... I don't know if I told you guys this story before, but I'm going to tell you again, just in case you didn't hear it, um, but if you did, then just skip over this part, um, but one time, well, it was at my last birthday party, and I don't care who talks to me about this whole video, I don't care who mentions this to me, I will honestly say, well, it's my opinion, you can't do anything about it, you can't change the video, I'm not taking the video down, there's... Uh, I just burped. No, I didn't. Just who did that? Um, it's my video. It's my opinions. And if, and if you have something wrong with that, then dislike it. I really don't care. If there's a hundred dislikes on this video, do I care? No. It's my opinions. I'm just getting it out there. Um, I'm gonna put this down because it's distracting me. But one time at my birthday party, I was opening my presents, and my mom put so much thought into this. She got me. Um, a straightener for my birthday because she knew I wanted one really bad and I actually really needed one. Um, but she got me one and it works so awesome. It's like the wet to dry um, straightener. Uh, purp I think it's purple. I think it's only in one color. It's purple. But it's like the prettiest color. It's the cutest thing in the world. I absolutely love this um, straightener. Look at it. It's so awesome. I'm in love with it. And you can, like, switch it to the wet or dry, um, settings. And it'll dry your wet hair and straighten it at the same time. It is the most amazing product. Definitely five stars. And thank you so much, Mom, for getting that for me. Um, if you're watching this. But, oh yeah. When I opened it, a couple people went in and they just said, That doesn't work. Out on the outside, I'm just like, oh, just whatever. I just let it pass. I didn't say anything. I pretend like I didn't hear it. But on the inside, I was just like torn apart. Like, if you say something like that, like the look on my mom's face, I just felt so bad. Like, I on the inside, like I felt I was going to like die on the inside. Like, I felt so bad. You don't even know. She spent a lot of money on that. Um, and, she's, and she put a lot of thought into that. In the look on her face, she was just, like, so shocked and, like, so, like, let down. I'm like, no, Mom, I'm, of course it's going to work. Of course it's going to be awesome. And I told her that it worked, and I showed her that it worked, and I straightened her hair. And her hair, there's no other straightener out there that can straighten her hair. Her hair is crazy, and it straightened it. Like, honestly. But I know this is totally off subject, but that just really bothered me. Like, why would you say that at someone's birthday party? That something didn't work when someone put a lot of thought into that. 
and a lot of like heart and stuff even though it's just a straightener it just really really bothered me like why would someone honestly do that like just say it doesn't work oh that doesn't work why do, and then like later on they were like oh why it didn't work for me it really didn't work for me um my sister had it or something like that and um I tried it and it really didn't work I'm like well, thanks for notifying me about that, but I can show you that it really works. And maybe, did you maybe check on the package that maybe it was just for, like, thin hair? Thin to regular? Because maybe you kind of had have thick hair, and maybe I don't. And all those maybes are definitely's. Like, honestly. Well, I just want to end this video. I just wanted to get that out there. Um, to all the people who, like, wanted to know just, like, extra advice and extra stuff about stuff, but, yeah, so I just wanted to get that out there, because I feel like I haven't already, and, yeah, more videos coming soon, I'll see you guys later, bye, sexies.